implications of different views about language and gender. Implications means what are possible consequences of having these different shades of opinions regarding language and gender. First of all, first consequence is that we would not accept Deborah Cameron's view who says that language weakens lang women. Language of women makes them powerless, disempowers. So here we see that instead of that, women have better interactional skills, communication skills, and they dominate in all service uh, domains of society. In service sector, everywhere you will find women. Wherever communication is required, women are employed. So it shows quite opposite to Cameron's view that language weakens the women. Second implication is that men, they, because they don't have better communication skills, but they have physical power. So on the basis of their physical power and strength, they opt for manual work. They are engaged, for example, in military and other things like that. Uh, they uh, join mechanical and other field-based uh, domains of work because of their power. So uh, this was the view that was offered by those linguists who think that, and uh, also the feminists who think that it is patriarchy that creates gender inequality. Now, another relating point is that such divisions are discouraged these days. If we see different points of view which have been offered by feminists, by feminist linguists, by those who hold the patriarchy responsible for gender differences. So uh, these things are being negated these days when we see that there is no such division on the basis of gender in professions. Men, they can join female professions and female, they can join men's domains. Genetic limitations, they are a problem sometimes because it is, it is thought that women have some limitations, biolo biological limitations, but there is agreement, there is research that says that genetic limitations gradually are decreased. So this is the point of view that is offered by feminists. Now on the basis of all these implications, I would engage you in a reflective work. I would assign you a task in which you will offer your own point of view regarding the things we have discussed so far. For example, you can interview your female colleague or relative about the effect of work, or about the effect of work conditions, work environment, whether they feel themselves uh, limited, weak in any way, as is claimed by feminists. Another point of view that you would know through this uh, task is that gradually women, with the passage of time, when they work in a particular context, in a particular uh, office or organization, they adjust themselves in such a way that nobody can say that she is weak, she has some limitations because she is a woman. They are as powerful, as strong, uh, as capable as men are. So this is uh, a reflective task where I would like to end today's talk.